Well, Ethan back today with a beer review. And what I'm going to be reviewing today is a standby of mine. Actually, the first beer review I ever reviewed on my channel. Miller High Life. One of my favorite uh, macro beers. I even got the shirt today to match. Didn't plan that, but it is what it is. Go ahead and crack it. Um, this is a beer that I generally get for my weekend beer drinking. If I'm not reviewing craft beer, this is something I'm going to drink. Or perhaps Blue Ribbon or Coors Banquet, but more commonly this because it's still pretty cheap and affordable. You can get a six pack of pint cans for $5.99. Used to be $4.99, but beer prices, as we know, are going up. $6.99 some places, but I did find this particular six pack for $5.99. So excited about that. Got to pour it in the Paps glass. This is a re-review, a revisit. I have reviewed this before, but it's been a while. I drink it fairly often when I drink beer, which is just a couple times a week now. Uh, large, foamy, about a four finger white head. The appearance is light, ascending bubbles. Very yellow, very see-through uh, aroma. Just got me a new phone, so hopefully the picture quality is pretty good. Definitely better than my um, the my uh, webcam on my uh, desktop. Definitely better quality. Uh, faint aroma, not a whole lot of aroma here. You get that typical kind of beer, keg beer smell, light corn. Just a ever so slight bit of malt. Not a lot of aroma though. Um, yeah, established 1903 in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, so very light, well, you know, almost a light beer, borderline. Uh, I see a lot of people drink Miller Lite and whatnot, but I've always preferred High Life more than Miller Lite. Uh, Miller Lite's just a little too light for me. Uh, when I want a light kind of pool beer, Miller High Life is one that I would go for. Uh, let's go ahead and get a sip. Light, crisp, and refreshing. Nothing, nothing big, bold, and flavorful here. You get a slight little twang of something, like a, a corny maltiness maybe, a little hop maybe, but it's ever so uh, subtle. Um, very watery, I would say, but of the more watery type beers, I think this probably is one that tastes the best, in my opinion. You know, that's very debatable, you know, just based on your preference. But I've always just kind of preferred Miller High Life. I love Pep's Blue Ribbon, too, but um, I, I find that Pep's Blue Ribbon has a has that kind of wine wine flavor. I'm not a big wine drinker, so I would generally prefer this over Pabst. I love Coors Banquet though. That's probably, Coors Banquet is probably my favorite. And I like Budweiser too, but I don't get that as much because it's so pricey. But Coors Banquet and Miller High Life, probably my two favorites. This is just not much to say about it. It's just kind of a, you know, a light, easygoing, beer drinking experience, no complex flavors, nothing extraordinary, but it is a standard generic beer flavor. Um, if you're going, you know, to the pool, to the beach, to the lake, this is probably something that you would drink in the hot weather. Um, like we just had Memorial Day last weekend. Uh, this is a Memorial Day beer in the truest sense of the word, you know, if you want to be like, um, you know, if people are out partying on Memorial Day at the lake or whatever, they're probably going to be drinking something like this, like Corona, Bud Light. They're not going to be drinking Founders Breakfast Stout on Memorial Day at the lake. They're just not. Um, is this as good as Founders Breakfast Stout? Probably not. I mean, that's a matter of preference. But 
for the purpose that it's intended, I think this is a great beer. And it's always been one of my favorites. So with that, I'm going to have to score a 92 A-. minus. I like it. I love it, really. Um, nothing wrong with it to me. Sometimes, and I will say sometimes, uh, it is close to its expiration date. Like this one, for example, July 17th. We're getting close to that. So I think this beer, as it ages, it tends to not taste as good. I have noticed slight worse flavors the older it gets. And this one is right on that cusp, starting to get a little funkiness in the flavor, but in the can, generally, you are okay. Uh, glass bottles, sometimes they'll spoil easier. But yeah, get this beer as fresh as you can. As it ages, it starts to get a little funky, a little tasting, just a little something off with it. But get it as fresh as you can, and it tastes great. Yeah. So that's what I would recommend. This one is right at that point where it's starting to go down, I think. But it's still pretty good. Uh, yeah, 92 out of 100 for Miller High Life, a classic macro lager since 1903. Cheers, and thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.